are three things that you think everyone should know about the Educost strategic plan? Well, I'll go with one and then you, you jump in. You know, I, I, I've said many times that uh, anybody who's done a strategic planning process knows that every single word is probably an hour or two of conversation. That's absolutely true in our case. What's really interesting about our plan, too, is there's words that aren't in the, the plan that represent really deep and important conversations. So you look at our vision statement, which is our, you know, where we want to be in five years, and it's inspiring the transformation of higher education and service to a greater good. A lot of words there, a lot of hours there, but doesn't mention technology. And um, what does that mean? Does it mean it's, well, of course, it, we're still obsessed with technology. It's what we do, but... The vision for the future is not the tool we use to get there. And so that was a really deliberate mm -hmm. conversation to not include the word technology, but to focus on where technology can take us and the difference that we think technology can make. Also not in there is IT, not the top 10 IT issues anymore. It's the Educause top 10. And so we're trying to recognize that our community is no longer what it has been, the heart and soul is the CIOs and IT professionals, but we're also institutional researchers, instructional designers, CISOs, and on and on, and that our community strength is who we include, not not who we leave out. But what, yeah. what do you think? I, I think that's exactly right. It's intentionally um, positioned to be more inclusive and, and less less focused on a particular area. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing you asked, what well, three things we might say, three is a magic number. Yeah. Uh, there's three goals. So the, that I think um, makes it manageable, you know, for us to think about. But one thing I'd like to say about the goals, and we've even heard this from members of the community, they are strategic, they're high level, but they're actionable. And uh, our intent would be that over through the life of the strategic plan, uh, what will come from Educause will be things we can use, yeah. you know, things that are actually going to help us in our day-to-day -day, um, life as we, as CIOs and as, as professionals in, in higher ed, work to transform the, the organization. So they're both strategic. They're looking at it from the top. But really, we want to um, make sure that there's some actionable outcomes. So. Uh, we did a member survey, and it's mm -hmm. probably really important for our members to know we actually listened to the responses right, right. to the member yeah. survey. And one of them we heard loud and clear was more actionable items, mm -hmm. more action oriented, more concrete, more takeaways. Uh, and so we really are going to be, you're going to be seeing that more than mm -hmm. ever in the years ahead. So that, you won't see that called out, but that's uh, uh, written in between the lines mm -hmm. of this whole thing. Yep. So just to wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add that we haven't covered? Uh, either about the uh, strategic plan or Educause in general of what you see in 2024. I wrote an article in 2019. I wrote an before article in. Pandemic. Thank you. Thank you for the. I get stuck in decades. Uh, in 2019, before the pandemic, which seems like 1818, I wrote an article on digital ethics, and and that was before any of the generative AI. Mm -hmm. I mean, AI was there, but before any of the explosion of interest and. And I think sort of underneath and woven throughout this plan with the, this idea of, of transforming with a greater good mm -hmm. is this theme of digital ethics. And, you know, the, the whole generative AI world is going to challenge and test our, you know, our commitment to ethical principles in design and taking out bias and removing discrimination. And, and I, I just think that this is our test and, and I think it's in there. Higher ed needs to lead the way in that, and I think I think we have the opening we need in this plan if we're going to really focus on the greater good. Well, there we are. Yeah, and I, I think um, one of the other themes we see through the three goals, it's around partnership and people. The emphasis in all of these social tools is on the social, not on, on the tool or the technology. And that, I think, is something that I'm excited about, the, the possibility of developing better partnerships with our with our industry partners, uh, the the focus on caring for our community um, uh, and uh, our very diverse community. Those are the things that I think are going to help us uh, really transform our institutions. Great. Last word. Sure. Uh, uh, if you haven't read it, I wrote an article in Educause Review that just came out about our strategic mm -hmm. plan. Yep. And the ending to that article was the way I would end today is, 
uh, this is a chance for you to get engaged in Educause. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you've been, you know, you've been recognizing that this community has been helpful to you at some point in your career and you've been wondering or wanting to give back, now's, now's the time because we're heading off into these new directions yeah. and we need you and could use you. So find a way, find a way to connect, find a way to be part of this great community and that would be fantastic. Great. Helen, John, well, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.